KFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Ignition's Hour, coming up straight off this TFNN update. I'm also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Well, let's go. Dow's down 83. At 27,737, haven't I said it almost every day for the last three days? We were looking three days ago at the chance that we could be making some short-term top. At the same time, what I said is that the way I read moving averages is unless there's three big, tri big triple-digit down days, you're not going to get that nine-period moving average going underneath the 14-period moving average. It's going to be a process, and I think the process has begun. You've got the MACD today, at least so far, um, just about to cross negative, but the day is young. Anything can happen. Sikas has gone all the way from that 97% to 84% in just three sessions. That's very important because under 80% says be careful. The on-balance volume has been very good. Very correct in saying that we in some kind of a short term top. The weekly chart shows that it's, it's right at resistance level, and the monthly chart is still a very strong leg D. The SP is also down. Now, I would have wished that the SP is only down four. It's down nine at 3,098. Why do I say down just four? Because I would like to see the 500 stocks holding better than the Dow, and then all of a sudden, towards the end of the day, you can get some kind of a rally instead of a, another deep sell off. There's a very important moment here. Uh, the S&P uh, MACD has turned down. The day's young, as I say. And the stochastic's now at 87%, a little stronger than the Dow's. But you have made that peak F top three days ago. It hit that uh, uh, 31, what did I say it was, 31 uh, 2764 level, and now you're down at 3098. No big deal. We're where we were just about a week ago, but this is starting to turn down, and that's very important. The QQQ at 20113 down a dollar oh two, down 0.5, uh, a, 50, uh, a half a percent. It is under the nine period moving average. It is about to retest, like it did yesterday, the 14 period moving average. And the MACD is decidedly closed uh, quite a bit lower from where it was. Still good, but it's it's turned down. Stochastic is still good at 86%, but it's turning down. On balance volume is also turning down with the relative strength. So this you've got to watch closely. Underneath 200 is a real problem. If you look at the gold, gold contract right now is down five. It's just been stuck in this range. It just can't get out of its own way. And the dollar's holding okay. It's not doing great, but it's holding okay. I'll talk about bonds. I'll talk about crude oil. We'll be back in a moment for my Tiger Conditions Hour. Hold tight. Hope to see you soon. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. Thank you.